get ready because today we're going to talk about the only thing that I'm consistently good at, failing. So stick around. What's up guys, my name is Brandon McNulty. I'm a writer, I'm the author of Bad Parts, and welcome to my writing channel. I titled this video, Why Most Writers Fail, but what I really should have titled it is, Why Most Writers Need to Fail, because you do need to fail. If you wanna become a successful writer, you need to fail, you need to learn from your mistakes, and you need to learn enough that you can succeed. And even once you start succeeding, you still need to fail, because failure is an important part of creativity, because when you take risks, you will inevitably make mistakes. And that creativity emerges from those risks. So never be afraid to fail. That is the most important thing I'm gonna tell you in today's video. Now, when it comes to learning from your failures, this is very important, especially at the early stages of your career. Whenever you write, let's say, like a terrible short story, let's just say, you know, you come up with this idea, you put it down, it's 10 pages long, and it just sucks. You might think to yourself, well, oh, I'm a failure, I should quit forever. No, no, keep doing it, keep going, keep going. You have to believe that over time, once you keep failing enough and you learn from those failures, you will get better. That is so important. And the thing is, say you wrote that terrible short story and you realize that, okay, my main character was just not likable at all. There was nothing that the reader could connect with with my main character. That's okay. You failed there, but next time you can learn from this and you can try making a character who is likable. Find out what makes a character engaging to a reader and then do that in the future. Or say that the problem with your story is that the plot just didn't make any sense. It was just a mess. It was all over the place and there was just nothing redeeming about it. That's a great failure because then you know, okay, maybe I should learn plot structure. Maybe I should pick, pick up a book on that or watch a video, learn something about how plots work and how they keep audiences on the edge of their seat. And when it comes to being creative, you need to embrace failure. You need to accept that, okay, some silly idea, if you take a chance on it, it may just remain a silly idea. If you came up with an idea about a man running around dressed as a bat and solving crimes and beating up criminals, that might end up being as silly as it sounds, or it might end up generating billions of dollars of revenue over the next hundred years. And of course, I'm talking about Batman. And yes, at the core, it sounds like a dumb idea, but you never know how that that idea can expand over time, how it can end up working once you actually start executing it. There are so many ideas that sound stupid at the start, but if you take a risk on them, sometimes they pay off and sometimes they don't. You need to accept that, yes, there are going to be times they don't, but if you keep at it and you keep throwing out these creative, unusual ideas, eventually you will hit on something and come up with an idea that is worthwhile and hasn't been done before. But of course, that only happens when you learn to accept failure. When you charge ahead despite your doubts, despite your fears, you just keep moving, you take your risks, you learn from your mistakes, and eventually you succeed as a writer. So I hope this helps. Question of the day, what is one aspect of writing you have failed at repeatedly? Let us know in the comment section below, and also let us know what you've learned about that aspect over time. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. Hit the like and subscribe buttons for me. Share this video with a friend if you don't mind. Pick up a copy of Bad Parts if you haven't already. And as always, remember to keep on failing.